are doing today is show you some alcohol ink um, techniques. I'm going to prepare some pages for a couple of artworks that I have in mind. Very quickly and not on point. Outside, let's see, you can see the snow. It's actually snowing now, I don't know if you can see it falling. But inside, it's all toasty. And we're going to go into my studio, which I'm going to completely revamp my studio. I've got to, I don't know, change the flooring and the covering and I've got to rip this plastic off. So today seems a great day to just get down and dirty. Hi. So for those of you who know me, you'll know that I have an absolute passion for the beach. The beach is my favorite place to be in the whole wide world. Although I grew up in the country. I do love countryside too, but I love the beach and the country. So I'm starting a series of collages using Yupo paper and alcohol ink. And I've already produced one video. Another one's half done. And um, anyway, I'm doing them on maple panels. And in case you don't want to go back and check out my video, let me show you kind of what I mean. So they're very geometric. This is, I don't know if you can see the whole length of it. And it's two foot long, two foot by five and a half inches, I think. Um, but at the bottom here, there is sand. And I can't even really see what you're looking at because I just dropped my tripod and my camera is now being held on with painter's tape. So I'm hoping this is in focus. So there was one that's finished and that will be on my Etsy store. And here it is another one, abstract, sky, water, sand um, and I am um, let me put these down um, and I have some others that will be on my Etsy store but anyway so beach themed is where I'm gonna go and I've got so many ideas spinning around in my head I just don't even know where to begin other than here's my Yupo tin of goodies and I put all my colors in separate little bags, separate little bags. Sorry, got a frog in my throat. Today I am going to prepare some more papers for some pieces that I've got in mind. And this just arrived from Amazon. And if my husband's watching, Yes, sorry, I put more Amazon on the credit card. Anyway, this was a really good deal. This was 25 sheets for, I think, $19. It was really, really good. Anyway, I'm gonna do two right now. I've ordered, also ordered more blades for my paper cutter because it seems to get blunt very quickly. And this also came with these little things. Which, I guess you can wash them out and use them again. This is handy. Anyway, I might try those out today. So, inks. You need your inks. You need your cleanup solution which I don't think lots of people use as in getting um, you know techniques or, or text looking like textures um, and then also some isopropyl alcohol the colors I'm going to do today I actually want what I'm planning on doing I'm trying a friend of mine posted on Facebook a picture of a beach in England and the sky was gray and the ocean was gray and the beach was a pebble beach. Well, 
in my box of goodies, I already have photographs of lots of pebbles that I've cut into strips. So this is gonna be a gray English beach in the winter, pebble beach. There's lots of pebble beach in England and it's a different kind of beauty. It really is. So I want, um, I want black and blue. I'm definitely gonna need some white and I want kind of like light grays, dark grays. I have some kind of grayish blue. Excuse me, Penny, be quiet. I'm recording. Um, anyway, so first of all, I'm just going to put some blobs on the paper. And these are um, pinata and um, the other brand I got from, you know, I can't even read, read the brand on this. It's from Michael's. I've got, I want to say it's Tom Schwartz. Penny, shush. No, Penny. Hang on. Excuse me, my daughter's calling. I will be back in a second. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, God, I'm out of breath now. Back now. That was my daughter, she's going to school. She's been dying to receive a call from the college to say classes were canceled due to inclement weather, but that's not happening. All right, so I've got my blue blobs of paint, which have now dried, but I want to show you what happens if I put, they, they can be reactivated. So if I get some alcohol blending solution and put it in the wet paint, you'll see. It makes it spreading out much more. It kind of, and if I put it in the dry, the dry paint, not uh, the dry ink, sorry, not a lot of changes. But then if I take the cleanup solution and drop that around the dry paint, it reactivates it, if you can see that can see it's reactivating and then I have these little sponges so you can just drag down this blue by the way so it's reactivating basically all my dry and now I'm using the blending solution you can see the difference between the cleanup solution and the blending solution the blending cleanup solution just kind of makes everything lighter um, and then I could spray some alcohol on it. Excuse my dog. Oh, Henny! It's my daughter going off to school. And that's my other little dog, baby. Henny! All right, so this blue I absolutely love. It's called Sailboat Blue. And it is, gosh, who makes this? rangerink.com I know I got it from Michaels I think or maybe I got it from maybe AI Friedman anyway so I want my sky to be really gray oh it is snowing hard right now um but it's a sky so I want some blue in it as well so I'm going to use some blue and some black and I'm going to take some blending solution because I kind of want to blend those together. And let's try let's try one of these things that I got with my pack of paper. Um, so well, it seems to kind of soak up the ink. But I'm just going over this right now. And I'm waiting for, I've got some um, metallic inks coming in the mail 
from Amazon. Sorry, honey, more Amazon charges. But maybe I'll make us rich and famous one day. Okay. So I'm feeling, right, for this, I think I'm gonna use this as the ocean. Now I'm gonna take up some clean up solution. And what I do is I, I like to put it just in the cap. And just put a few drops on here and there. And then it kind of cleans off the, the top layer. Let me move this nice clean piece out of the way. And you get to see the blue underneath. You can tilt it or drag it. It will take a, a brush to it. But anyway, I'm gonna add some more blue. Um, I think I'm going to use a different kind of blue too. This is Baja blue. So don't forget, this is, this is like a stormy ocean. And also, quite a lot how it looks when it is wet is not always how it dries. And then with the sponge, you can texturize it. Which is quite interesting. Get different techniques or go different directions. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that to dry and you'll be surprised how how that looks when it's dried. And then you got to think about how it's going to look when it's in slices. So for example, you know, this is really, if you can see, but like imagine that as a piece or you know this slice here and when it's all mosaic together it will look really fabulous and I also have um, this that I made earlier which I will probably use a few tiny pieces of this to highlight bits of the ocean anyway I'm going to move that aside and now I'm going to do one that is a a much lighter gray. So to begin with that, I am going to spray this with alcohol without trying to spray everything else. Just move that around. Then I'm gonna take some black. And I'm gonna take some white. Ooh, if my tripod wasn't broken I would show you what I could see out the window it's actually snowing quite heavily now so my white which I obviously as you can see put the wrong lid on but anyway it's, all, it's done now no point crying over spilt milk really wish I had my silver I really wanted to do a sky that had some silver but I, I will I'll do another one so for this one, this is going to be my sky and I'm going to just drag this down and I want some of this to be very, very light. I'm actually going to use another one of these. So for this, I'm probably going to use quite a bit of the cleanup solution. Well, that might look like a big fat mess, but it, it, it actually isn't. It's going to turn out just great. And then I will 
drop some blending solution lines in it. So, where's one I did earlier? Um, I did this one earlier using basically the same technique. But I, what I want to achieve here is I want to have, um, actually I'm gonna do it this way. I kind of want to gradiate the gray. I'm gonna use a lot more cleaning solution because I want the sky to be darker down at the ocean, lighter at the top of the sky, because that's really how it is. So this is gonna be the sky. And then it'll get darker as it goes down. And we're gonna let that dry. It might look like a, a bit of a mess right now, but it, it, it will be absolutely beautiful. Now for this one, I'm gonna show you some techniques of doing um, just how um, different inks and colors react differently with the blending solution. So I'm gonna do just a stripe of magenta. And next to that, I'm gonna put, always shake your inks. Next to that, I'm gonna do a stripe of yellow. And then in the middle of that, I'm gonna do some blending solution. Let's see, this would be great for a sunset. And let's get one of these. I kind of like these little things. I hope they clean up okay. All right, so that's gonna run down there. Then next to that, I'm going to do some orange. And the blending solution has already bled into the yellow. And I'm gonna hit just this little gap with blending solution. Oh, what is that? There is a gremlin in the midst. Okay, so that's that. Remember the ink dries really quickly. Next to that I am going to use a different red. Actually, no, next to that, I'm gonna use gold. Where's my gold? Ooh, that's a nice orange. Now I'm gonna do this orange first. It's a really deep orange. Ooh, yes. And then next to that, I'm gonna use the gold, if I can find it, there it is. The gold has a little ball bearing in it, if you can hear it. And I am gonna put the gold on top of that orange. Oh, gorgeous. I'm gonna use some more yellow in a minute. That's the other thing I was gonna do is a beach with a sunset, which is why I wanted to do these colors. Um, I'll touch up those. It's almost like acrylic paint. You know, if you dab the gaps, it fills up. Right, next to that, I want some more yellow. So I'm gonna put a bit of yellow in here to fill this gap. But I definitely want more yellow here. That's where the sun is setting. And then I want some more red or maybe more magenta. What other reds do I have? What have I got? Rust. 
Ooh, chili pepper red. Let's try this one. This is new. I just got this on Saturday. So let's do chili pepper red. Oh, I think I'm going to do chili pepper up here too because it'd be darker. You don't need a lot. I, like, I don't know if it looks like I'm squirting a lot, but I'm actually not. Let's make that bigger. And then I'm going to do more of that orange. Where's that pinata orange? Here we go. Calabaza orange. Then I'm going to put the blending solution between those two. I'm going to tilt that. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you, like if I just, if I sprayed some cleaning, clean up solution, see the effects. It's almost like you get cells and when that dries, it is so pretty. All right, definitely need more yellow. I have another yellow I'm going to try as well. So I'm going to put more yellow here. And then I have another yellow. This is one of those Ranger inks. Ooh, this is a much darker yellow. And maybe I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in that one. It's a bit dull. And I still want more yellow. I'm just going to fill this up with yellow because it's going to blend. But this is going to be... My daughter calling to say college has been cancelled and she's now turning back. So, um, anyway, that's, that's a technique. Now, let me take you back to the one that I'm going to use for the ocean. And that is going to make a really dramatic ocean. And this I'm going to use for the sky. And then I'm going to put Pebble Beach. It's going to be kind of a dark one. Here is one I made with browns and golds. This will, is going to dry beautifully. You can heat up the drying process with a hairdryer if you choose. I'm going to move that around a little bit, get some more gold. That's just a few tips that I showed you. Here's some turquoise that I made. And um, once they're cut and collaged, they just look absolutely spectacular. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I will post a video of my um, gray English beach soon. Thanks. Bye.